Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm gonna do another haul or anti-haul, new makeup releases. So I'm just going on my Instagram now and I'm gonna go to Trend Moods page. That's my favorite page to see, to see um, new makeup releases. I love Trend Moods page for that. So I'm gonna scroll through and see what the re latest releases are that I haven't talked about yet. Cause there's quite a bit. This is from Fenty, it looks like. Here, let me scoot over. Maybe I'll scoot over more to this side. <clears throat> so it looks like Fenty has a new set for the holidays. It's a Glossy Posse Fantasy for Some Limited Edition. Fenty Glow Fantasy, Hot Chocolate Fantasy, and Champ Stamp Fantasy. With a full-size Glossy Bomb Cream and Candy Milk. It says it's going to be available October 4th, so... It's already available on their website in Sephora, I guess. So you know Fenty does this every year. She does her little four pack of gloss bomb sets. I think it's cool that she added in like a full size, um, full size of her creams. I think I would have liked to see instead of doing her gloss bombs, which I know her gloss bombs are really popular. I would have liked to seen her do a set of her creams, her glossy cream her creams instead of her gloss bombs that she always does. I would rather see her do the cream ones instead. Her gloss bomb creams, like a four pack of that. But I mean, I'm not gonna pick it up. I've gotten one of her sets before and I really like them. But this year, so I'm not gonna pick it up. So it looks like Lunar Beauty had their usual holiday release. And he came up with uh, the Moon Spell Volume 2. It's limited edition, just like the Moon Spell was, and it's in the same type of Moon Spell packaging. There's some changes to it. It looks like it's um like a maroon or a dark red instead of black, and um there's like some different things on the front of it, but it's the same type of packaging. Um, it's forty eight dollars. And he created a Hollow's Eve lipstick, which looks like a burnt orange type of shade, which is perfect for Halloween and fall, I think. Um, there's also a Coven lip gloss, which just looks like a champagne nude gloss. And there's one called Bitchcraft lip gloss, which looks like it's a ruby lip gloss, which it looks like ruby red, but I'm sure by the time you put it on your lips, it would be more like a light pink or something. And it's going to be $17 for the lip glosses and $18 for the lipstick. The Lip Trio, you can get a set of the Trio for $42. Or they have a full collection of the glosses and the palette for $80. Or the glosses, the palette, and his uh, brush set for $110. So I'm going to lie, I want this palette because I already have the first one and not only is the same type of story, he's named it after iconic like witches from iconic 90s and early 2000s of movies. Like you have Zelda and Hilda from Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the old show, the comedy with um, Melissa Joan Hart in it. He has that one, he has Grams, he has Freya. Um, there's Luna from Harry Potter, there's, um, Myrtle and Misty and Louise, Agatha from, um, Halloween Town, Marie, there's so many different, the Willow from, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, <laughs> so I love that he does that nostalgic thing. He really pulls you in with the nostalgic and he pulls you in with the packaging with making it look like a spell book. It just, I mean, Lunar Beauty does it good. Not only do they have a good formula, but they do pull you in. I did watch his reveal video on this and he did say that this time his palette is not made in the USA because prices have went up per, per each shade. So if he would have had it made in the USA like he did before with his previous palette, it would have cost 10 or $15 more and he didn't want to raise 
the price of his palette so he started looking at other places to try to find cheaper shades that are still really good so he said this palette was made in prc which is the republic of china so this is a made in china palette not only that but we have more shades in this palette there's like a whole extra row in this palette not gonna lie of course i want it i'm i haven't bought it yet but i'm thinking about buying it <laughs> it might be the one last thing that i get because it's limited edition so if i don't get it when i want it then i'm not gonna get it at all because he already said that he got he stocked uh, he tried to get enough stock so everybody could get one but as soon as that stock is gone he's not restocking it that's it he's just not going to restock so i think i'm going to order this i'm going to get the palette and maybe the hollows eve liquid lipstick because i don't have any like burnt orange lipsticks and i think that would just be a beautiful color to create fall looks with so i think i am going to pick this one up i have the first one and i love that formula so this one i know i'm going to love it so next we have, I don't know if this is a holiday thing, but it's by Terry. It's a new eyeshadow palette. The VIP Expert Palette. Bonjour Paris. So, so Bonjour Paris. It's a Paris palette from by Terry. It says, create the effortless, sultry look with a mix of nine eye-catching neutrals, luminous copper, soft pink, slight golds, and an ultra-blendable matte metallic finish. And it's a limited edition. It's $56. Um, I'm not going to lie. The Paris theme really sucks me in. Especially the packaging. The packaging looks super cute. And that, that theme does really suck me in. But I don't. I think it's expensive. It's expensive for a non pan. It's $56. And I haven't really tried anything by Terry. To know if it's worth the price. I think I'm going to pass on it. Just because there's other things I want more, like the Lunar Beauty and Moonspell palette. I have to be choosy this year about what I get. And this year for for my uh palette my um holiday palettes, I got the Hocus Pocus one and I think I'm gonna get this Lunar Beauty Moonspell one and that's gonna be all I get. There's a, something new from Fenty Skin. It looks like a Hydra Set Intensive Recovery Hand Mask. By Fenty Skin, moisturizing skin treat that helps rescue dry, stressed hands overnight. Loaded with 40% glycerin, 5% panthenol, powerful plant extracts and conditioning fruit oils. Deeply moisturizes, revitalizes, and nourishes hands. Its indulgently rich emulsion is designed to work overnight while you sleep with its smooth, cushiony texture. Covering hands in a plush veil of deep conditioning hydration for $22. <clears throat> and I bet you it looks it's probably going to be like this big for $22 usually hand creams are really small I've never seen hand creams that um, you get and they're like this big I've never seen a hand cream that was this giant so <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be something small and so it, no I'm not going to pick it up I like my hand creams from Bath and & Body and they're three fifty dollars a piece for a small size and I like those. They keep my hands moisturized for me. So I'm not going to get that. But go for Fenty Home releasing something new. It looks like there's a new collab. A new set. New collab. Includes the Heart and Soul Duo Limited Edition Nail Polish Shade. Plus Hand Cream. It looks like Lights Lacquer. Collabed with Sol de Janeiro. And they have like a yellow nail polish to go with their hand cream and they're going to be sold as a duo it says it's already available um it doesn't say how much it costs but i think it's on just on it's just on uh sold de janeiro's website and maybe like uh light slackers website i'm not gonna pick it up i don't really paint my nails I'd rather just put press-ons on my nails because my nails are so, they're like the most brittle things. They break so easy. My nails break really easy so I just don't even worry about painting them because I usually break them off. But it, I'm not going to pick it up. 
Next we have from a fourth Bray Beauty. They have a pumpkin face polish for a smooth, healthy skin. Gently exfoliates, formulated with super fine sugar to polish skin for a softer and smoother complexion. Enriched with pumpkin enzymes, exfoliates and slough off the dead skin cells, promoting renewal for supple skin. With argan oil, which is highly, which is high in essential fatty acids to intensely nourish, condition the skin. It says it's coming soon. I think it's already. I think it's already on their website. It doesn't say how much it is, but I think their normal face polishes are like nine or ten dollars. I do want to try um, ColourPop's face polish, but I have so much stuff now like scrubs now that I need to go through that I'm not going to try these until I go through the scrubs I have now so I'm not going to pick it up I'm going to at least make it through the scrubs I have now and then I'll then I'll do it I can't remember if I talked about this or not but it looks like there's a new collab there's so many collabs <laughs> here. So this is the Adams Family 2 X Hip Dot. And it looks gorgeous. I think the lip shades really go with the Adams Family. The palette, I don't, I don't think so. And the names don't even scream Adams Family. The only one that does is Karen Mia and Beloved. I mean, I feel like this is something that should have been collabed with not hip dot but maybe melt cosmetics should have done it or kvd beauty did it it seems like more their aesthetic if you ask me but i didn't pick it up not planning on picking it up <laughs> here we have something else from ColourPop. they have once again another mega palette i feel like they just came out with the what it's a mood makeup palette and now they have another one and this one is the play it jewel palette it has 30 matte and shimmery shades so no pressed glitters no mattes with those shimmers in it that everybody hates it's just mattes and shimmery shades it looks like they tried to just repackage the um the so jaded palette from kathleen lights it looks like a repackaged and they like shuffled around the shades <laughs> <laughs> so jaded palette from Kathleen Lights that was discontinued. So I, I I'm thinking that if you if you're having FOMO over missing out on Kathleen Lights So Jaded palette, then this is your chance to get that palette because this really does essentially look just like it. They've just moved the shades around and gave them different names. They also have a new party proof eye primer in, and it's going to be in translucent caramel and deep i appreciate the fact that they did like caramel for medium to medium deep skin tones and then they have a deep one for deep skin tones but why does the fair skin tones get translucent why can't we get a fair shade why can't they instead create a translucent but why can't they create a fair and a light shade also to go with the caramel and the deep why do we have to use translucent i don't know I want to try it but I don't think I'm going to just because of that I like my eye primer to have a base because I have like these bluish veins that I like it to have like a color to try to cover up that to make like a blank canvas so I have like these bluish purple veins that I usually use my eye primer to cover up with so I think I'm gonna skip out on it see if they come up with a different eye primer and then maybe I'll try another one if they do another one. But for now, I'm skipping out on it. <clears throat> Next, we have Too Faced. Here they are. Too Faced is back with their holiday collection. And this is the one that sucks. <laughs> this is the one that sucks every year with their holiday sets. They got their usual Better Than Sex ornament. They got their usual Better Than Sex vault for $78 where you get all the Better Than Sex mascaras. It's about 50 of them. <laughs> then they have this plumping station to go, which I think is their lip injections. Comes with all their plumping stuff. They have a my Stuff My Stocking 
for $30, which looks like it has a lip injection and a better than sex mascara. They have this hangover pillow balm, lip balm set, which I've actually heard good things about their hangover pillow balm. That it's like really thick and nourishing and um, really moisturizing to the lips, but I'm not going to pick it up. The only, I'll be honest, the only thing I want out of all of this set is that dang bronzer. I want that Too Faced You're So Hot. It has a hot chocolate, hot cocoa bronzer there with a cute little whipped cream and it's got a cute little face. And there's like a little lip, is that a lip injection? Yeah, it looks like a little hot cocoa scented lip injection with it. I want that set. <laughs> That's the only one I want. Nobody cares about their palettes that are, for, there's one for, I think, New York, one for LA, and one for Paris, whatever, London, Christmas in London. <laughs> So it's the You're So Hot Bronzer and Lip Gloss set. That's what I want. And it's $39. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I might put it, what I might end up doing is putting it on my Christmas wish list and seeing if somebody gets it for me for Christmas. By then it may be gone because I think the gingerbread one sold pretty fast last year. But I do want that. That's the only thing I want from it. The rest of it can, no, it can go away. <laughs> Bye. I don't want you. Next, we have good coffee in fall is always a vibe. New, the Coffee to Glow by Essence with Coffee Scent. It includes an under eye energy treatment, a healthy glow face scrub, the powder effortless merges is water to form gentle face scrub with real coffee beans, a scented highlighter brush. Why do you need a scented brush? Coffee lip scrub. I kind of like the idea of that. Highlighter beans, a body and mind wake up mist, and an eyeshadow palette. The eyeshadow palette kind of looks like um, Huda Beauty's. Was it the Naughty Nude? They have one of those shades in here that here I'll pop up. I'll make sure while I'm talking about this, I put the picture of the palette up there so you can see. But it has one of those shades like in the Naughty Nude palette that Huda Beauty did. Where it has like the beads in this like clear cream gel whatever the heck it is. And it has like the swirled shade. I'm curious to see how this is going to be. But I haven't heard that many good things about Essence's eyeshadow formula. I don't think I'm going to pick anything up in this. But you know I love coffee. So I love to see it. And it looks very cute. But I'm not going to pick it up. <laughs> Next we have it. It looks like Sephora has finally released. Their saving a holiday saving event for 2021. It looks like it's going to be the November 5th through November 15th. And it depends on of course whether you're inside or VIB or Rouge. I'm VIB so I don't get until the 11th or the 9th. I'm not going to buy. I bought from there last year. I'm not going to buy from Sephora this year during the holidays. I'm taking a break. Next we have, looks like Kylie is making another Halloween collection. Remember she did that a few years ago? She did a Halloween collection. I don't remember what it was called. But the palette looked kind of like a mummy wrapped up. It was pretty cute. But like the inside was basic neutrals. Well this time she's collabing. With the nightmare on Elm Street. A night sorry, a nightmare on Elm Street. So this is like Freddy Cougar esque. <laughs> and you guys, Freddy Cougar and the Nightmare on Elm Street was my favorite old school slasher flick. I watched that growing up every Halloween, all of the lights turned off by myself. And I was a teenager then. Mm, Preteen. Preteen slash teenager. I kind of, I really want this. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I kind of want the palette. I want like that nude lip gloss or lipstick, whatever it is. Or whatever that gel is, I'm curious. But it has a lip lacquer trio in Only a Dream, Elm Street, and Never Sleep Again. There's lashes, false lashes, and a lip and cheek jelly stain. I'm not sure how that'll be, but... The palette is like half neutral, half colorful, like it's half browns and the other half is like reds and a black. But 
the packaging, like the outside packaging of the palette is Freddy Krueger's sweater with some slashes on it. I like it. I don't like the fact that her name is like the biggest part of it. I feel like it should have been Nightmare on Elm Street was the biggest part of it and have Kylie as the smaller part, but I'm sure Kylie's all about me, 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 so that's probably why. There's no price yet, but, oh, I didn't tell you when it comes out. It's going to be out of October 12th on their website. So that comes out. This How rude. It cut off for me. <laughs> so it's going to be out this week. I think that's Wednesday. I could be wrong. So next we have BH Cosmetics. They're getting in on the Halloween trend too. Looks like they have six eyeshadow palettes. There's a Venom eyeshadow palette, which is a silver, black, and cool tone shades. Absinthe eyeshadow palette with emerald, forest, and mint green shades. There's a nightshade eyeshadow palette with lilac to bright and eggplant purple shades. There's a scorpion sting eyeshadow palette with orange, bronze, and gold shades. There is a Sub-Zero eyeshadow palette with Sky, Cobalt, and Royal Blue shades. And then there is a Ghost Pepper eyeshadow palette with Bright Red, Burgundy, and Maroon shades. They're going to be $15 each. There's also going to be a Liquid Eyeshadow for $9 that goes, there's one that's going to go with each of the palettes. The Absinthe one is going to be Forest Green. The Ghost Pepper one is going to be Deep Red. The Nightshade one is going to be a Dusty Mauve. The Scorpion Sting one is going to be Copper, and the Sub-Zero one is going to be Electric Blue. There's going to be six false eyelashes for $5, a Strobe Shock Highlighter Palette for $12, a Chopper Shock Lip Gloss for $8, and Topper Shock Lip Gloss for $8, and a Poison Shock 8-Piece Face and Eye Brush Set for $24. Boy, that's a lot of stuff. I'm not going to pick it up. Let's be honest. I'm kind of over the monochromatic palettes. Even though I do think that um, Nightshade one looks really cute. The Absinthe one looks really cute. If I got any of them, it would probably be those two. Because that's green and the other one's purple. And pink. and They're just more my tones. But I'm not going to pick it up. Because like I said... I am past the monochromatic palettes stage of my life. I'm not into it. It's not for me. I'm sure somebody's going to love it, but that somebody's not me. Looks like we have some more from Fenty. There's um, new sets from Fenty Beautiful available now in Europe, but I guess it's coming soon here. There's a Fly Glow set, which includes a Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. Fly Liner, Longwear Liquid Eyeliner in Cousin Black, and a Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Trophy Wife. And then they're going to have a Resting Peach Face Set with a Mini Gloss Balm Cream and Peach Pout and Cheeks Out Freestyle, Freestyle Cream Blush and Cheek Face. I think the um that Resting Peach Face one looks really cute. I love the peach color of the gloss and the, the uh, cream blush. That one's like more appealing to me than the other one, but I'm not going to pick up either one of them, <laughs> let's be honest. Looks like there's something new from Tatcha. Tatcha's adding the amazing Tatcha. It's a Kisu lip mask, now has a tinted red color, celebrating the red Camilla flowers which bloom during Japanese winters. This red lip mask with this red lip mask. <laughs> The subtly tinted smoothing and plumping mask contains all of the nourishing ingredients of the original, including hydrating squalene, peach extract, and camilla oil, which is rich in vitamins and omega-3, 6, and 9 fatty acids. Just says coming soon, October, we'll keep you updated. I mean, I've never tried to touch a lip mask. It doesn't say how much it's going to be, but I guess whatever the price of the regular lip mask, it'll be the same price. I'm not going to pick it up because I don't have Tatcha Price money. But, I mean, if you can afford it, good for you. 
<laughs> you can get it. Looks like there's something from Sigma. Celebrating October Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Sigma, with a new set, Pretty in Pink, for $36. It's a nine-shade eyeshadow palette, blending brush, liquid lipstick, and it says 20% of the proceeds will be donated to the Pink Fund. And revealed holiday 2021 is a new collection obsessed brush set an fa f36 e35 e57 and e15 in a makeup bag then obsessed eyeshadow palette lip set this is coming soon we'll keep you updated i think the one for breast cancer looks really cute i don't think 36 dollars is bad to get a nine shade eyeshadow palette a blending brush and a liquid lipstick. I think that's a really good price to get all of that for $36. And I like that they're committing 20% of the proceeds to be donated to the Pink Fund for breast cancer awareness. I really like that about it. I wish I had the money to get it, and I would, but I do not. But I think that's great, and I think if y'all are interested in it, then you should consider doing that to help um, support breast cancer awareness. Next we have another one of the, this is the ninth princess from the princess collection and with uh, Bessemer Cosmetics and Disney and uh, this one looks like it's going to be Murda. <clears throat> it's the same thing as all the others. I think the packaging looks nice. I'm not like an intensely, I've never seen the movie. What was it? Brave? I've never seen that movie. That's the one with murder in it, right? I've never seen that movie. So, there's no, like, emotional attachments to it for me. I'm not going to get it because it's $125. It's the same as all the others. It comes with their highlighting powder. It says it features a Celtic-inspired design in rose gold. The artwork encompasses murder's family heritage and magic journey with her mother. Merida is engraved by the mirror in a natural gold highlight powder plus a sheer color with a hint of rose lipstick. So it's like the same as everything. The lipsticks are usually a little different for each set, but the highlighting powder tends to stay the same. I'm not picking it up, but I mean, if you're interested in it and that's what you want, by all means, you can pick it up. <laughs> There's some new sets by Tatcha and it does have that lip mask there. Oh, the lip mask is going to be $28 that we were talking about. There's a bunch of holiday sets. They're going to have their Calming Plus Soothing Trio for $58. Their Cleanse and Moisturize Trio for $66. Their Makeup Perfecting Trio for $70. Their Dewy and Plumping Set for $98. The Hydration Ovento for $68. The Balanced Skin Ritual for $130. The Indigo Calming Rich School set for $198. And then they have a Luxury Obento set for $390. Dang, that's expensive. I mean, I'm sure it's a better value to get one of these sets during the holidays than to buy them individually. It gives you a chance to try everything. But I'm not going to be picking it up because... I don't have Tatcha price money. <laughs> I don't have Tatcha money. You need a lot of money for Tatcha. <laughs> Next we have so the new from whew, Kiko Milano, the Purchase Rituals Collection. There's so much here. It looks like blushes, bronzers, highlights. There's a gentle Vegan Face Cleansing Oil for $14.99, Radiant Serum for $14.99, Velvet Flawless Foundation for $13.99, Hydrating Vegan Concealers $11.99, Face Brush and Blender Set $15.99. There's so much here. Why is it when every time Kiko Milano comes out with a collection, it's like a whole thing. Like there's so many things. I'm not interested in this. I already don't like them because they don't come out with um, 
a big enough shade range in their foundation. So until they start expanding their shade range, I'm not going to shop from Kiko Milano, even though it's basically drugstore prices. So it's like a drugstore brand, but I'm not shopping from them. <clears throat> And here we have, i seen this the other day. This is the biggest joke of all. I think, is this April Fool's? It, what is going on here? <sighs> so there's a new skincare line coming around. A new beauty brand skincare called Kind Science. It's going to be skin kind, animal kind, and eco kind. And guess who it's by? Ellen DeGeneres. That is like the biggest joke of all. To have Ellen DeGeneres with a skincare line called Kind of Science. How about you treat your workers with kindness? Treat them with respect. Not what I see on Trim Mood is really. <laughs> Did somebody post that no us gays don't even claim her. Who's gonna buy this? <laughs> That's funny. There's like some, some even Manny and you like, no. <laughs> Robert Welsh, 100%. Absolutely no. Babs Beauty, no. Spooky Lips and Fat Lips, a little kind. <laughs> the indie mood is the one that put no us gays don't even claim her. Who's going to buy this? <laughs> no thanks. The fact that it's called Kind Science is hilariously ironic. <laughs> Somebody said, I don't know who thought this was a good idea. And then somebody put, so with all the allegations against, she thought it made sense to name it kind. <laughs> no, no, thank you. And somebody put, how about kind to your employees? Kind to people as well. The irony in the name. Yeah, no. Why? Uh, somebody put, thank you, next. <laughs> and then somebody put, kind. You don't even give your employees any kindness. And then somebody put, ha ha, wow, marketing must have a great sense of humor. And somebody put, it's a nar for me, love. Absolutely not. Nope, bye. Wow, just wow. Who thought this was a good idea? Like, she has any credibility left whatsoever. Hard pass, absolutely not. Is this a joke? Is it employee kind too? <laughs> People kind. No, we aren't doing that. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> so I put, no, we don't F with her no more. We ain't forgetting. <laughs> so I said, what a cash grab. Exactly. That's exactly what this is. This is a cash grab. And I don't know who in the right mind thought that this was going to sell. Who's going to buy this? But I I implore you to, if you're having a bad day and you need to cheer up, go read the comments on Trim Mood's page under this, <laughs> under this uh, announcement for the kind of science. Because it's hilarious. It's going to make you laugh. It gave me a good chuckle. I'll be surprised if anybody buys this, buys anything from their collection. So next we have Viseart. We have new eyeshadow palettes. Each palette includes 12 shades for $44. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these, but they're Nintendo palettes. The, I know one's Cashmere Bijouette. Nintendo It's inspired by Now Archive Pro Matte Palette Bijouette Royal. Flattering hues based on nature's finest jewels with shimmers, metallic satins, and mattes. And then the Cashmere Into one is inspired by Cashmere Theory palette. Has warm and cool tones with shimmers, metallic satins, and mattes. I already have a Busy Art palette. I haven't tried it yet. I need to try it. It's a purple palette and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Out of both of these palettes, it's the Cashmere one. You know, the one that looks like it has the cooler toned mauves in it. That really appeals to me. But I'm not going to pick up either one of these. That other one looks really appealing too, but no, there's other things that I want more than this. Next thing we have is say hello to a new beauty brand, Christina's Callis' Beauty by the MUA Christina Callis. First launch includes the 
Loose the Soul Collection, the Loose the Soul Eye Palette, Illuminating Powders, and Lip Glosses. I mean, it looks like your basic neutral palette. It's not something that you probably don't already have in your collection already. <clears throat> I'm not going to pick it up. But that doesn't mean you can't. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> but I uh, just, it's by a makeup artist. Not even the makeup by Mario appeals to me. It's by a makeup artist. Just the makeup artist brands just don't appeal to me. I have to have cute packaging. It has to look like Tinkerbell. It has to look like Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I need some cute packaging. I like cute packaging. That's what draws me in. So these makeup brands by MUAs, it's just kind of just like the clean, sleek, minimal packaging. It's just not my thing. That's all. Looks like we have one last thing here. Their new Chroma Sticks Makeup Pencils by Norvina Anastasia Beverly Hills. 16 shades, a matte finish, a smudge proof, waterproof, and will be available October 11th at 7 a.m. PST on their website. So it doesn't really say what these are, but I think they're eyeliners. They look like they might be um, like the pencil eyeliners, gel maybe eyeliners. They come in a lot of shades. I don't know if I'm going to try them. But I'm definitely going to be watching reviews to see if anybody tries them to see how they are. Because they do have some really pretty shades. I see the pinks. I see the purples. There's a really pretty like baby blue, sky blue there. So I'm curious how they are. I'm not going to pick them up. But I'm going to see if anybody that I follow picks them up. And I'll... um. Definitely watch the reviews and see how they are and maybe I'll pick something up in the future if they turn out to be really good. But there's no price here either on on how much they're going to cost. So it depends on how much they cost too because I really like ColourPop's um, cream gel liners. I think those are very good along with LA Girls is really good. Their Shockwave ones really good. So it would have to be mind blowing for me to pick up a high end eyeliner pencil <laughs> but that's it that is all that I found on Tremude's website that I hadn't talked about yet this is a little bit of a longer video because there was quite a bit of releases and announcements this week especially for Halloween palettes even holiday releases were coming out more this week but you'll have to let me know you'll have to <laughs> scoot back in the middle you'll have to let me know um if there's anything y'all are picking up and that Ellen DeGeneres thing. What do you think about her coming out with her own beauty brand? I was like, what the heck is this? Why? So, I just still can't believe it. I thought she was already canceled, but whatever. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My thoughts on the new makeup releases and a look at everything that's coming out for the holiday season. You have to let me know in the comments down below if you're picking up any of the things I've talked about. Or if you're even interested in any of the things that I've talked about. Or what you're going to pick up. What you're going to pass on. I'm so interested to know what y'all are going to do. Anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, weekend. Wherever it is you're watching this. And if you're not yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Because I'm going to be keeping you updated all season long on all the latest releases. I cannot wait to see who releases what next. Because there seems to be more releases than ever before this season. Maybe because they missed out on last season. So there wasn't as many releases last year. Because of the pandemic. <laughs> but anyways, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. Bye.